No, please just give me this thing. I'm going to pay. Mm. Saying that you should not be generous. Be generous. You're not going to be able to track anything. You will not even know whether the business is helping you or not. Our team will not just be doing things for the sake of it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing fine. So as you saw from the title of the video, we are going to be talking about things you should not do after starting a business. And so we are going to dive right straight into the video. First point is learn to draw the line. When I'm talking about learning to draw the line is learn to separate business from family. Yes, family is family. Family is always going to be there, but learn to draw the line. Because there's this thing about, oh no, it's my mom, no, it's my sister, no, it's my cousin, no, it's my friend. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's one of the highest things that brings the downfall of small businesses. When you're walking around because you don't know this is my person, this is... Mm -mm. Learn to draw the line. If your friend has to command something to buy, she should pay. No borrow. Because when somebody comes out like, no, please just give me this and I'm going to pay. Mm -mm. Before the payment comes, and you know the fact that it's family, you're going to feel very, um, I don't know the word to use, but you feel very uncomfortable, yeah, you feel very uncomfortable asking the person for the money because you're like, no, this is my person, so it's like, I'm going to be bugging the person, but it's your money, bro, it's your money, sis. So what, what you have to do is just draw the line. I'm not saying that you should not be generous. Be generous. But when it comes to business, just know that this is business. And so family even has to invest more in your business. Instead of coming to, instead when you're, when someone is coming to borrow stuff from your business. Moreover, if you're just starting out, the person is basically pulling down your business. The person is basically not helping you to grow. And that's not what we want. Be generous, but do not be generous at the expense of the growth of your business. So... The next point is be accountable. Be accountable. When starting a business, draw up a business plan. Do not just start a business out of the blues. That's if you're intending for the business to be something of like a long run kind of thing. If not, do whatever you want. But if you're intending that this business should take you like if you're intending that this business should literally pay your bills, then you should be very, very much accountable. You need to know how much you're gaining for maybe a particular thing that you're stealing you need to know how much you need to know your expenses you need to know what's coming in what's going out because if you're just doing a business kind of like ah anyways let me just do what i'm doing then sorry you're not going to be able to track anything you will not even know whether the business is helping you or not in addition to that even the business can be draining you it can instead be a loss for you you know you're thinking that you're benefiting but it can be a loss for you because you're not able to track what's going on so when you start a business you need to be able to track what is happening in the business you need to be able to know the cash flow everything so that this business can be profitable for you if not you're just going to have the name of i'm having a business but without really earning anything on the business so you guys should probably check out my i have a, a series of videos on business i'm going to link it down below i have a whole playlist so do not check it out i have videos there on what to do before starting a business just basic business advice that I mean, we should be growing in this thing that we're doing, not just be doing things for the sake of it. So guys, do well to check out the playlist. And so far, if you're getting value from my video, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to share this video with somebody that you think is going to profit. Be open-minded. This is because when you start a business, everything is not just going to go... Mm, no, some ups, you're going to have some doubts, you're going to have some criticisms as well from people. So you need to be open-minded enough to listen to those criticisms and to grab what is positive from there. Don't dwell on negative criticisms, but grab what is positive from there. Grab what is going to help you to grow and move, like, move on. Because what you share is that when you're just starting out something, you're not, like, the best thing. You're definitely not because you're just starting. And so you're going to have people who are going to correct you as well. You're going to have genuine criticisms for people. But if you just have that negative, when you get people that are just talking negative, like, don't pay attention to that. Yeah, it's not easy, but do not pay attention to it because you're just going to bring, you're just going to bring down your morale instead of helping you to, like, instead of giving you more energy to grow and push forward in the business. First thing, learn to draw the line, separate family from business. Family is not business, business is not family. Second thing, be accountable. If you know, if you want to know if you're making profit in the business, you need to be accountable. If not, you're just going to be, I mean, 
like they always say running in the back you're not going anywhere you're not saying you're going to and thirdly be open-minded be open to receiving criticisms because that's what's going to help you to grow thank you guys for watching the video right up to this moment please if you are not yet subscribed subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you're going to be notified every time that i upload a new video on this channel i do a lot of fun stuff i do videos on business business advice i do videos on personal development because here yeah, we need to grow we need to grow entirely before we are able to grow yeah and i also do very very interesting vlogs so do well to hit the subscribe button so that you're going to come back to see the beautiful content i have on my channel thank you stay safe love you all